What is up? We are back. I am Marcus. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. Last we left off, there are some oddities like stained glass windows that were forming cylinders. Our shadow came to life. We kicked his ass. It was all a dream. Anyway, we're on Destiny Islands. I'm Sora. This is Kairi. Say hello, Kairi. Well, alright. I mean, does it have to be now? I mean, we're kind of doing a show right here. I mean, I know that you need supplies, but um, can this wait till later? Yeah. Alright, fine. Yes, I heard you. Okay, here's what you need to go find. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. You're gonna be back here. You need help, just ask. I'm counting on you. Uh. Fuck, what'd she say? <laughs> um. Oh, here's one log. One log. I forgot. Uh. Yeah, I know, like, I, I played this game like dozens of times and, like, still to this day, like, I forgot where some of this shit is. What was it? One log. No, like, no. Two logs. Oh, here's the other log right here. Alright, it was two logs. One rope and one claw. I forgot where the rope is. But yeah, this is a part of the tutorial. It's going to be familiar with, um... It's going to be familiar with, like, platforms and stuff, so yeah. Excuse me. Uh, it's, I know, like, the cloth is up here. I forgot. Yeah, the cloth is right here. Forgot where the rope is. Where is the rope? Oh, oh I think it's up there, I think. Wow, look at that big bit crushed. What is his name? Titus? Titus? Like, just like, wailing away at the air. This sword. Oh, here's the rope. And we're done. I think. Unless if she needs something else. I know you could fight... Uh... What's her face? Yeah, this girl right here, she uses a jump rope. That kid over there, he uses a sword. No, it's not even... I think it's a stick. Yeah, it's a stick. While well, I'm over here, like, I have a toy sword. This guy fights with a ball. Alright. And I think Riku over there fights with a toy sword. I'm not gonna fight them. Like, I don't see any point. Oh, actually. I should save right now, actually. Because I forgot I didn't save uh, last episode. And holy crap, I have a lot of save files. So I'm just gonna start one. All the way at, um, 69. Yeah, let's save at number 69. Because there's something about the number that I very much enjoy. There we go. 30 minutes into the game, we are at level 3 still. And I'm an expert. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, good. I mean, this game is fairly easy. I mean, like... I know, like, a lot of people on YouTube have played it blindly. Which, um... Which... Get the fuck... There you go. Which, um... This game is not very easy to do when you're playing blind. But I'm in a... I'm a veteran. I've been playing this game for, like, more than a decade now. Thanks, Sora. Okay, I did get him. I, get all, I did get the, all, all the items. Thanks, Sora. I found something today, too. Here, it's yours. Yay! Tired, want to call it a day? Yeah, let's go home. Okay, it's getting late. We'll finish up tomorrow. Good talk. Good talk. See, that's not hard to do. Like, I've completed that in, like, what? Span of, uh... uh some... Some minutes. Home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. Okay, new twist on it. She's a new kid in town. But still, you gotta admit, like, that story arc... Archetype, rather, it is like getting annoying. We'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. 
What would you do there? Hmm. Well, I... I haven't really thought about it. I mean, if I were him, I would jerk off in every single room. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. There's some weirdos out there. Who've probably done that. Why did we end up on this one? Hey. And suppose yeah? There are other worlds. You ever wonder why we're here? <laughs> uh, this whole this whole talk is just reminding me of that. By the way, shout out to Red vs. Blue. Um probably my favorite internet series of all time. I don't know. That's not uh homage to Washington, by the way, that was just kind of accidental. And by the way, like, I know, like, um, speaking of, like, story archetypes, I know that, like, there are a lot of stories out there where they follow around, like, the main character who wants to get out of their hometown and explore different places. I think I know why a lot of people, like, write that into various different stories. Because, like, I'm, like, 20 right now, and so far, I've been feeling pretty much like that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in Chicago. And Chicago isn't the the most homely place right now. You wanted one, didn't you? Powerproof fruit. If two people. And by the way, as a kid, I've always wanted a powerproof fruit because I was a lonely ass fucking kid. Remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Uh, <laughs> funny story about that. Um, <clears throat> I had a I had a girlfriend who, uh, also played Kingdom Hearts. Now, actually, like I borrowed Kingdom Hearts two to her. Which uh, is like very fucking easy compared to this game. It's like ten times easier. Which is like, you know, kind of saying something when I'm playing this on expert. Um, but anyway, like, I remember like like a conversation one time. Like, I think uh, I, th I think we mentioned something about a pow proof fruit, and that's how we got in this whole conversation about Kingdom Hearts and pretty much how it led to me borrowing Kingdom Hearts two to her. And after we broke up, I still never got it back. I mean, we still talk. Don't get me wrong, like... Uh, like, all of my exes I'm still friends with. All three of them. But yeah, yeah, we're all still friends. But to this day, and by the way, that was like six years ago now, I still haven't gotten Kingdom Hearts 2 back. So I'm holding it to her. But, I mean, anyway, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, I think it's pretty, uh... It's pretty uh, easy to come by. And by the way, like this cutscene as a kid, oh my god, I was freaking the hell out about. Cause like it was like the first time like in this whole game that we encountered Disney characters aside from like the the stained glass murals in the opening. But uh, we actually got to see the characters in action now. And it always raised the question for me: um, How come we couldn't see the Kingdom Hearts? characters like roam around in some like Disney World or Disneyland that always like bugged me as a kid because this game is really really popular especially among like Disney fans and anime fans like I'm pretty sure so yeah this game is like immensely popular like everyone's hyped about like the third game right now which still hasn't come out <laughs> but um yeah I've always wondered why like the Kingdom Hearts version uh, variants of these characters never were in the parks. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't, but... I mean, hey, it's, it's not too late. Like I said, this game is still very popular, even after a decade. Busted. Alright. I forgot to... F I don't know if you heard that. That was not my controller rumbling. Uh, that was, um... That was my, that was my phone again. And by the way, sorry, I was, like, texting during the cutscene. Actually, you know what? Maybe, like, for most of these cutscenes, I'm gonna do some texting. Sorry to be rude, but... Yeah, I gotta talk... I don't even want to know, you know, I'm not going to talk to this girl. Because all she says, like, when I go up and talk to her is, like, it just reminds me about, like, the, the Palpu fruit, which we already saw cutscene for. I'm not going to talk to these weirdos. 
However, I'm gonna get the seagull egg up here because... Wait, can I even grab it yet, or do I need to talk to Kyrie first? Whoops. Platforming is not very good in this game, especially if Sora jumps around with his legs open like a friggin' prostitute. Come on, there you go. Show me up the... Okay, never mind, I can get it. Cool. So, I, I forgot what I need to get. I'm not gonna talk to Kyrie first, I'm just gonna get what I know I need to get first. Yeah, I need two fish. Come here. Where's the three fish? I have no idea. Let me go look around for... Okay, there's another one over here. Wait, do I need to... Do I need to get three or do I need to just get two? Oh no, it's three. Unless if there's like an extra one over here somewhere. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But might as well check anyway. Man, this game looks awesome. Like, I'm playing on the original PS2 copy, so... Yeah, like, this game looks still, like, very, very awesome. Like, even, like, after a decade. Oh, um, I also need to get coconuts. Uh, jump up here. Oh, I also need to get mushrooms. Yeah. 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 Come here. I want my nuts. I want my co there we go. And you might be wondering, oh, why do you need to get like the the piss yellow coconuts? Um, because we don't want to get coconuts that'll spoil on the way when we get to where we're going. That's why. Actually, I don't even know if like ripe coconuts even look like that. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Oh, come on, give me a yellow one already. There we go. Um, do I need to get two or do I need to get three? I'm just gonna be whacking away at these coconut trees till I get another one. I'll whack this tree then. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they out of coconuts? Can these trees run out of coconut? Oh, come on, let me check. Oh, by the way, don't do this in real life. Climbing a fucking palm tree is pretty much the equivalent of climbing on a friggin' porcupine. So don't do that, kids. I mean, the texture on this tree might be, like, a little off. Like, like yeah, it, it looks like you can climb it. I mean, there's no problem there. But like, Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, I, I do need to get three. Or is it four? No, it's not four, I know it. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I know there's, like, no... Uh, I know there's no items that you need to collect that goes up to four. This water texture, though, very bit crushed. Whatever, I'm not gonna harp at this game just for inconsistent graphics like that. Fuck you, I don't wanna talk to you. I know where to go, I know this is a secret place. By the way, like... Like, what I'm about to show you right here is, like, probably the coolest place that you'll ever... that you ever did see. Like, look at this place. Isn't this cool? I mean, there's a creepy-ass door right there, but isn't this, like, awesome? Like, I mean, you can have a cool-ass bonfire in here and, like, not, you know, suffer from smoke inhalation. There's a vent right here, which is basically, you know, open air. You could make this into an awesome man cave. Probably do some shagging, too, if you're up for something like that. But, like, this is, like, the cool like, someone needs to make, like, a real... Okay, that's, that's a bit freaky. But, seriously, someone needs to make, like, a, like, a recreation of this, because I would love to chill in a place like this one day. If, like, an opportunity should come around, uh, come around. Anyway, here's a mushroom that I need to get. Don't even need to talk to Kyrie first. I already know what I need to get. Sora sucks ass at drawing. And yeah, isn't this cute? Oh, that's so good!
And what Sora's about to do is even cuter. Look what he does here. Oh! It makes this shitty ass drawing even better. Who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Oh, hi, Billy Zane. Uh, this world. that is Billy Zane, right? <laughs> I know, like, this game is, like, chock full of, like, celebrity, uh, voices. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? Yeah, if... <laughs> this wouldn't, this would not, like, be at all comfortable if this was, like, in live action. Especially, like, when there's a creepy-ass man in a robe. Talking to a kid in like a very secluded place. <laughs> I have a dirty mind. I probably should go to hell. Hopefully not. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Uh, that's not true. When you're a baby, you know nothing at all. But you learn stuff later in life. So, check your facts. And by the way, if you like, you go up to this door, nothing really out of the ordinary. How did he get here? What? Alright, so this creepy ass door doesn't alarm you in any way at all. Well, I mean, like, later on, there's like a cutscene where. They, like, explain, like, the store actually appeared from out of nowhere when they were kids. So, yeah. Saying that, like, it's kind of out of the ordinary is... Eh, kind of off-putting for anyone who hasn't played the game before. Um... I think now we can go to the other side of this island. Yes, there is an, uh... Yes, there, yes, there is, like, another side. Which is... hey oh, It's the cove! Oh my god! My phone keeps vibrating. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, yes, I was, like, texting again during the cutscene. And... Alright, there's... A mushy right here. Good. By the way, I actually love mushrooms. Like, no, not the drug, but like... Uh, the, the food. I... Oh, yeah, we... Well, hold on, let me find the other mushroom first. Because Kairi's gonna give you a, a bottle which you need to fill up with drinking water. I forgot where the other mushroom is, though. Whoops. Uh... There's like three mushrooms that you need to get. Uh, I forgot where it is. Oh, it's right there. There you go. And then... I think that's it, right? Then you just need the drinking water. So yeah, Kyrie's gonna talk to you. Perhaps someone's ready. Hey, have you seen Riku? You need to talk to her again. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, I think... Alright, now I remember correctly. So I think we need to do this, like, stupid race with Riku, and like... Oh my god, I hope I don't mess it up. Wait, can I... Yeah, this thing falls off, by the way. Can I get drinking water right now? Mm, no, I can't. Because, yeah, I, I still need the bottle from Kyrie. Anyway... Hey, Sora. Our raft still needs a name. Let's see, how about high wind? What would you call it? Oh, what would I call it, huh? Um... Hmm... What would I call it? <sighs> Saint... Oh, a space. 
Whoops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I space? Oh, that's always space. Saints. <laughs> ah! Whatever, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Actually, no, better yet. Because the raft is poorly made. It's made by kids, after all. Ah! Oh, all, all my names of oh, whatever. I'm just gonna go with the one I was about to put before. <laughs> Octopussy. Please, I mean. song caps like that <laughs> oh god hey how about the usual that could be taken the wrong way let's do it oh yeah that's that's taken the wrong way that um if any, if anyone who is under the age of 13 is watching, I I highly apologize for my language. And, um, do your fucking homework! No, I'm just kidding. But do your fucking homework! You guys at it again? Alright, I'll be the judge. The rules, uh, the usual rules apply. Take any route you want. So yeah, it's basically like an obstacle course. And you have to touch the star and like, First one to tag that tree and make it back here wins. Uh, I'm captain, and if you win, I get to share the pal poo with Kyrie. What? Deal. The winner gets to share a pal. Oh my God! There is a love triangle going around here. Okay, on my count. Okay, I hope to God I don't screw this up. If I do, then it won't be a surprise. Anyone who's played this game has probably already failed at this. Alright, I'm gonna do the risky route and I'm just gonna... Yeah, fuck you, Riku. I'm going here. Alright. Let's screw this up. Whoa! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Oh, God. I've already lost. Hey, Riku, you cheating bitch. Come here. Oh, God. Inverted camera. I forgot. Alright. Oh god, alright, I I am definitely going to fail. Oh, I need to hurry up. Uh, uh, fuck you, bitch. Uh, uh, work your body, work your, work your body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. Yes! Yeah! I got a pretty stone. What is... <laughs> Man, lighten up. It's just a name after all. I love how the animation is still the same, like, when you lose, the animation is exactly the same, only, like, right now it just has different text. So, yes, the raft is named Octopussy. I am very happy about that. I am very, very happy about the raft being named Octopussy. Oh, there it is, the Octopussy. And, yeah, that's where all our logs and uh, stuff went. Okay, now are you going to give me the... Two coconuts, three fish. Yeah, of course not from the ocean. You want to, you want to get sick. You want to, you want to get, you want to get like, like cysts or die of dysentery. And bingo, we already got drinking water. So we have already got the the stuff. If I can get up here, can I get on, grab onto this? Whatever. The stairs right here. It's fine. I am very happy about that. That has never happened to me before. I've never won against Riku every time I played. Hey, what you doing there, Kyrie? 
this. I'm making a necklace out of Thalassa. Thalat th Thalassa? Thalassa. Whatever. In the old days, sailors always wore. Th Stop saying it. Just like. Whatever. Seashells. They were supposed to ensure a safe voyage. I guess I gotta talk to her again. Thanks, Sora. I found something today, too. Here, it's yours. Wow. Another eye potion. Thank you. Wanna call it a day? Yeah, yeah, let's go home. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. We should rest up. Yeah, he's definitely changed. He's gotten the hots for you. Hmm. you okay? I'm not even sure if, um... Sora, I'm not even sure if, like, when I was talking to Riku earlier, she, like, heard that, like... <laughs> Riku say, if I win, I get to share the pop with Kairi. I don't even know if she heard that, but, like... I mean, clearly here, she definitely has the hots for Sora. I mean, then again, like, in this game, they don't really have that many hints of, like, romantic interest. I At least I don't think. I mean, like... As far as, like, the series goes, they haven't shared a kiss yet. Which, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure maybe in the third game they're about to kiss. That's just up for speculation, I think. Oh my god, this cutscene is, like, making me unbelievably lonely as fuck. Man, I wish I had a childhood friend like Kyrie. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but shit, man. Gets to your heartstrings. Donald! Sorry to rush up without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. Sorry. <clears throat> Not sure why, but all the stars have been playing out, one by one. And that means danger can't be far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I gotta go check on it. There's someone with a key. The key to our survival! So I need you and Goofy to go find him! And stick with him! Got it? We need that key, or we're doomed! So go to Traverse Town and find Leon! He'll point you in the right direction! Yes. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly obvious who wrote that. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, like, if he didn't even take his dog along, then I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you. Both of you. Can you get of course. Take care of what? Oh, well, like, was he about to say take care of the nephews? I don't know, maybe. Sadly, there's no Scrooge McDuck in this game. I have been playing the hell out of um, the DuckTales remake, which actually I might let's play as well. Um, granted, uh, yeah, I've just barely started to get uh, to capture the PS2. So who knows how the Wii U uh, work well uh, with the capture device. Wow, I said oh, a lot of times there. <laughs> By the way, yeah, you're coming along too, Goofy. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Anna! Right, world border. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? Yeah, we're gonna get new duds, all right. They're gonna have lots and lots of zippers. I mean, I know it's like kind of a thing with Square Enix, but I mean, come on, you got you gotta put all your shit somewhere. 
And hey, there's our ship. Later on in the game, we're uh, going to make some gummy ships. And um, I don't know about you, but I actually thoroughly enjoy making gummy ships. I don't know why. Like a lot of people seem to hate on the on the gummy ship or like just like gummy ships in general. But I don't know. Like yeah, like it's kind of boring to play the the actual mini game. But like making the ships, like dude, I can like spend hours and hours like making gummy ships. I think it's like just because of my love for Legos. Did that wing just like slice through the wall there? Oh, by the way, high world that we we're never gonna play in this game. We get to play this world in the sequel though. we set sail it'll be great oh man he's dreaming about his girl Kyrie, or daydreaming rather he hasn't fallen asleep yet oh no the raft sora dinner's ready come on down sora yeah a lot of <laughs> you know like as like massive of a game a game franchise as this is I think a lot of people forget Sora and like the rest of them have parents. Like, okay, so they just fall under the, like the Pokemon curse and like they all stop caring once their kid becomes a protagonist. I mean, those bows, those bows look the same, so I don't even know how. All right, yeah, you can't fight Heartless with this stupid ass toy sword so what you gotta do is you gotta go all the way over here and talk to Riku. And I don't know why the com camera gets stuck there. Oh never mind. It's like automated. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Whoa, is she? We might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. <laughs> again, like <laughs> these characters like have almost no regards for their parents, and that's like more apparent as like the series goes on. Maybe the parents feel the same way, I don't know. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. oh, I guess we're fine. What? It's a giant key. Keyblade. Keyblade. Okay, now we can wreck some shit up. Fuck you! Get over here! Get over here! Oh, by the way, um... Yeah, um... I, uh... I'm going to, um... I'm gonna be here a while, because... I am, like, a grinding whore when it comes to this game. So, um, I'm gonna be here for quite a while. Just, like, beating the shit of all, all these Heartless. Cause like, um, like at this point right here in the game, you could pretty much there's like, uh, like unlimited enemies that are spawning everywhere. 
So you can so you can pretty much like farm like all hell. And like yeah, I'm I'm gonna be here a while, so um Yeah. I'm 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 pretty sure I'm gonna cut this footage down, so yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. So, I'll be back. I'll be just here, running away so I won't bore the living hell out of you. Okay, and we're back, and I just saved, and now... Oh, well, ah, you can't see it, but I just saved, and now we are at level 5. So, I made a fair amount of progress as far as leveling goes. Like I said, like, that place is a good, or, like, this beginning, like, area when you, as soon as you get the Keyblade, it, it's, like, a good place, like, to, to grind up a bit. Because, like, all those Heartless just keep spawning because your world is about to be eaten alive. Speaking of eaten alive... Oh my god! I just ate my girlfriend! Where did she go? Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. And he still has a hole in his gut. And someone has taken his achy freaky heart, because look at his stomach. The girl just done him, like, wrong. Because his heart's not there anymore. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, wait, actually. Can I jump on him? Can I climb on him? I think I... Ah, you stop it. No. Ah, whatever. I, I'm pretty sure you can jump on... I'm pretty sure you can jump on him and like... Yeah, you can target his, his head. I don't know if it does more damage that way. I mean, I don't have the ability yet where I can like see... Uh, the enemy's health bar. I'm just gonna try jumping on this head right Ah! Okay, you guys are annoying. You need to die. Stop bugging me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. And you get your health because I lost a bit. And by the way, while I was like, uh, gr while I was uh, grinding, like I picked up like a ton of potions, which. Are items that restore health. Okay, don't touch the glowing ball of death. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these potions right now since I have like a ton of them. I know I just probably just wasted them, like, and just waited for like the the other heartless to come back. Cause there's gonna be a boss later on that's fairly early in the game, and I don't even know if it makes a difference if like you beat him or not. It doesn't even matter if like you beat him anyway. But, I just want to beat him, because I was feeling good about myself when I beat Riku earlier. So, come on. Alright. Let me, let me get some health from these little guys here. Oh, come on, don't go on the ground like that, cheapo. There we go. The void, the glowing balls of doom. Ow! Stop it. Stop. Stop. Come on, just die already. It's, it's really n there. We go. Max HP and items, cool. Yeah, it, it's like really annoying early on, like when you can't even see the enemy's health bar. So yeah. And we just got sucked up by darkness. Or, uh, oh, what, what was that entity called in Never Ending Story? Uh, the Nothing, I think it was called? It worked, it worked similarly, uh, similarly to that. And oh my god, this story is really good. It's got me invested so far. I mean, partly because, like, there's Disney characters running around. 
And hey, we come to our first level, Traverse Town. So we're officially done with the tutorials. What a very backwater alley. What's Pluto sniffing at? Did I say Pluto? I mean Pluto. Oh, hey, it's me, or Sora. Double face. Uh, this isn't a dream. And of course, yeah, there's the inevitable question that I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna ask: How come Pluto gets to be a dog, like a real ass dog, and Goofy gets to walk around? Do you know where we are? Like they're both dogs. Alright, so I think this is a good place to end off the episode, so I'm just going to leave it off with Sora scared shitless in this really dark alley. Keep in mind, he's a kid. He doesn't know better, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's a scared little kid. He's cold and scared in his alley. Anyway, I'm just going to end it off right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys uh, later. Peace.